Hey, this is Mayor Skip Henderson, and I want to welcome you to the Mayor's Summer Reading Program. Really excited that you guys are participating. Uh, we're going to be doing it a little differently this year. We're going to be doing it virtually because of that old pandemic virus that's been, been nosing around our, our community and around the globe. Uh, but we are excited to, uh, to be able to introduce a, a couple of books uh, to you guys this summer. One is Good Night, Good Night Construction Site, and the other is uh, called In the West End. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna read these books to you and uh, hopefully you guys can either follow along with your book or you will like them enough that you'll reread them and share them with some of your friends. So we'll start with Good Night, Good Night Construction Site. Down in the big construction site, the tough trucks work with all their might to build a building, make a road, to get the job done, load by load. The sun has set, the work is done. It's time for trucks to end their fun. So one by one, they'll go to bed to yawn and rest their sleepy heads. Then wake up to another day of rough and tough construction play. Working hard to help his team, Crane Truck raises one last beam. Reaching, stretching, lifting high, he swings the beam into the sky. He'll set it down right on its mark, then off to bed. It's almost dark. He slowly folds his boom back in, and then with one last sleepy grin, he tucks himself in nice and tight, then cuddles up and says good night. Shh. Good night, crane truck, good night. Spinning, churning all day long, cement mixer sings his whirly song. Now he's weary and so dizzy from the fun that keeps him busy. With one last spin, he pours the load. He's ready now to leave the road. There's the cement truck. He takes a bath, gets shiny bright, pulls up his chute, turns off his light. He cuts his engine, slows his drum, and dreams sweet dreams of twirly fun. Shh, good night, cement mixer, good night. Dump truck loves to work and haul. He carries loads both big and small. He moves the dirt from place to place, then dumps it with a happy face. One final load spills on the heap. Now dump truck's tired and wants to sleep. He lowers his head, lowers his bed, locks his gate, rests his wheels, it's getting late. He dims his lights, then shuts his doors, and soon his engine slows to snores. Shh, good night, dump truck, good night. Pushing with his mighty blade, bulldozer works to smooth the grade. He clears the way to level ground and fills the air with thunderous sound. No one's as tough and as strong as he, but now he's sleepy as he can be. He puffs some smoke out of his stack, turns off his engine, stops his track. He curls into his soft dirt bed and dreams of busy days ahead. Shh, good night, bulldozer, good night. <clears throat> Scooping gravel, dirt, and sand, excavator shapes the land. He digs and lifts throughout the day, but now it's time to end his play. A few more holes to dig and soon he'll roll to bed beneath the moon. He twirls upon his bumpy track, pulls up his boom, stretches his back. He sets his scoop down on the ground and snuggles up without a sound. Shh, good night, excavator, good night. These big, big trucks, so tough and loud, they work so hard, so rough and proud. Tomorrow is another day, another chance to work and play. Turn off your engines, stop your tracks, relax your wheels, your stacks and backs. 
No more huffing and puffing. Team, it's time to rest your heads and dream. Now they're all going to bed. Construction site, all tucked in tight. The day is done. Turn off the light. Great work today. Now, shh, good night. That is good night, good night, construction site. I like that. Hope you did too. Now the next book that we're going to be reading this, this summer uh, in our virtual Mayor's Summer uh, uh, reading uh, uh, fun is uh, In the West End. Now this is a story by Will Power. All right? So you see the beginning of it. It says In the West End. Let's get started. I like pizza. I like pancakes. I like barbecued and fried and stewed chicken. I like popcorn with lots of salt and sugar and peach cobbler and ham hocks and pop rocks. That's quite a dinner. But now, Nana is sick. She can't eat the same foods that she used to, the things she loves to make, the food she loves to eat. Her favorite foods are my favorites too. But Dr. Barnes says she has to change what she eats if she wants to be happy and see me graduate. Nana has to eat differently. So, Mama and I set out to find tasty treats that she can eat. We walk through the West End. We go to Tassili's with their big old green and red wraps stuffed with couscous and this thing like spinach called kale. We get one so Nana can taste one. We go to Soul Veg, where the gravy is savory, like Nana's. Without the calories, but all the flavor, it's all in the West End. <clears throat> Mama, do you think Nana would like this mac and cheese? They say it's no cow used to make it, a nut blend that fakes it. Can I have a taste? Mmm, yummy. Nana might like this. Or how about a veggie burger with lots of ketchup? The line is long. How long will it take to ketchup to the front? Fries too, mama, but air pop, not deep fried. The doctor said Nana can't have deep fried anymore. I miss Nana's cooking. Mama, is she gonna be okay? Yes, baby, mama says. Let's get her something to eat. We go through the West End, so much delicious food, Mama says healthy food, I say scrumptious food, in the West End. We stop at the juice bar for a juice and a, how do you say it, Mama? Veg in? What's a veg in? Vegan, baby. Vegan donut. Tasty donuts, they should call them, and such a variety, wow. What if we stacked those donuts one on top of the other and made a tall donut castle? Donuts in the West End. Mama, do you think Nana will like this yummy food? I hope she does. I'm sure she will. I hope she will. Imagine a world where everything's healthy, where delicious food is good for you too. Mama, can you see? In the West End, they have new soul food. Come on, one more place to go. Near the Marta, where the trains whoosh by, there are all kinds of fruits. Look, Mama, bright, juicy purple grapes, green, green spinach, not a fruit, but it still looks good. And oranges like the moon. Can we get some, Mama? Yes, let's use this bag that I brought. We can make something for Nana. Look, Nana, look, we got you some mac and cheese from Soul Veg, a big old wrap from Tassili's, a burger and fries from a place, well, Mama won't tell me the name of the place, but wait till you try the fries and the burger, Nana and a juice and donuts, and Nana, I know you're gonna like these new foods. And pretty soon, just imagine, you can make your own kind of Nana's new soul food. I know I will, baby. Thank you. I love you, Nana. I love you too, baby. And that is the story of the West End. What do you think about all that great food that is good for you too. 
Listen, I appreciate you guys tuning in as we uh, as we go through our virtual summer reading club, and I, I hope you'll take advantage of all the neat things that, that Randallette and all the other folks have planned for you this summer, and I want you to read. Reading's a lot of fun, particularly if you've got the pandemic that we've, we've all been dealing with and we're all staying inside, reading is a great thing to do. You know, I want to take just a second and thank some of the people that are making all this possible. So let me just say thanks to the Chattahoochee Valley Parent to Parent uh, Inc., Real Dads Read, Columbus, Georgia, the United Way of the Chattahoochee Valley, Enrichment Services Program, the Department of Juvenile Justice, the Literary Alliance, Amerigroup, East Alabama Mental Health, Family and Children's Services, the Boys and Girls Clubs, and the Phoenix City Early Learning Center. We want to thank all these folks for making this summer reading club possible. And I'll be visiting with you again, I promise you, during the summer, but only if you keep reading. And y'all be good. I'll talk to you later.